Hi, welcome to Stock Analyst. This is Prabhu Saluraj here. Uh, before we could start, please do subscribe to our uh, YouTube channel. Uh, I'm being posting a lot of learning videos. Yes, this one is also going to be a learning video. You're going to learn a lot from Stock Analyst. So everything would going to be a short, short, quick, quick video. So it will not take much of time. Now, as you all see, today's video is all about Tech Mahindra. Before this, I made a video about uh, Wipro on the reversal. Now, this is also uh, on a again on IT stock where the stock has valid from 472,838, a beautiful massive rally stock has given. And after the stock has given a big rally, there's been a kind of a downfall and the stock is on a consolidation mode since last one, two, three, four, five months. Okay. One thing to be noted, five months the stock is on consolidation mode, one. And the number two, the stock is respecting the golden ratio of 61.8%, which is 993.45. And the stock is refusing to close below this level from the last one, two, three, four, five, six months. Since last six months onwards, the stock is refusing to close below this. What does it mean? It simply means that the stock is having a zone of a consolidation and the bias pressure is coming in. The stock is refusing to go below <coughs> golden ratio so fresh investment opportunities getting happening in this counter. <coughs> right one. And uh, you all know that whenever the stock is respecting a golden ratio, there's a high chance that the stock is will go for a, uh, a kind of kind of a reversal. It will start giving on an upside move. Now, there are only two scenarios. Number one, one is at 993 is our buying zone, which is a golden ratio. And we can keep a small stop loss around this which the low is around uh, uh, 943. So on 40 points of stop loss, which is in turn uh, like 5% of the risk, what you're gonna have in this counter. And the stock will take a downward move if it's 61.8% gets broken and this is low gets broken. The stock will travel again back to 471, which will give us a beautiful one more round of opportunity to enter into a long position. In this quality stock there's no need to discuss about the fundamentals of this particular stock everybody knows it right so now risk is around four percent and when it gets a thousand rupees we're expecting 1800 which is around 80 percent of return so risk to avoid ratio calculate one less to 20 is risk risk avoid ratio so this is how uh, you should uh, and again this is not for a, a weekly or a monthly this is on a long-term investment be it like uh, uh, six months to maybe 12 months to 24 months is what you can anticipate a long-term beautiful returns in this counter so now because we are, we are analyzing the stock on a monthly time frame every month you can come and uh, look at about the stock what is the performance now the stock might go for a zone of consolidation other one or two more months or even three more months <coughs> doesn't matter but now the stock is available at very decent price and once it stocks gets a breakout you will not be able to catch the stock because one day suddenly it might move 10 percent you might think okay the stock has moved by 10 percent uh, let me cool down will be taken entry next day the stock will move another 10 percent you will think shit oh the opportunity has moved to 20 percent now there's no point of entering into it the stock is already up by 20 percent on daily time frame and it is risky to enter now let's wait for some cool down next day it will go another 20 percent so you will just feel that okay 50 percent 40 percent returns has gone there is no way i can enter i have to ignore this counter look for some other counter because on lower time frame the stock moves on a very quick and yeah, because it's a fno stock movement can happen 10 percent 20 percent 30 percent even 40 percent in a day and there is no restrictions for it so now in such kind of a scenario when you're available uh, you cannot catch that counter so you have to ignore it so those kind of stocks have to be studied on a monthly time frame for long term investment where the company fundamental is strong. And of course, IT sector it will do good uh, when comparing the, uh, the dollar's value, what's happening uh, currently, right? So, all those factors are giving a beautiful uh, opportunity to make an entry in this counter. And again, uh, you should look in the perspective what is in my expectation this counter. If you keep your 1 lakh rupees capital uh in bank you will catch three percent or six percent or nine percent or twelve percent very good mutual funds uh 15 percent or 20 percent or even 25 percent is the what you can maximum expect in any kind of a financial instrument but however if you peacefully hold between 12 uh, 6 to 12 months to 18 months we can easily expect 50 percent to 100 percent returns for long term and long 
long long term investment that's a that's a view about this particular stock in terms of technical and this is not any kind of a buy or a sell recommendation this is a pure technical analysis done based on the uh, a beautiful tool which is fibonacci and uh, we all learned that the uh, two important zones are 31 38.2% and 61.8% most of stocks has to take the reversal from 61.8 if it breaks it comes to over here and it makes a reversal in case if you enter it here you hit 5% stop loss need not worry about this counter when next entry will happens at this zone it will give you beautiful 100 to 200% of returns easily this 5% will easily be taken back from the same counter so two, two beautiful counters in terms of uh, long-term investments in IT sector have given. Of course, you also have PCS, you also have Infosys. But when compared to all the stocks, I felt Tech Mahindra is Tech Mahindra and Wipro is quite attractive. You could see it is still stealing at 31.8.2 percent in the rally, but Wipro has crossed up to 61.8, right? And if you talk about Infosys, Infosys has rallied uh, again. It is still trading at 38.2. It hasn't uh, cracked. Uh, crack down till 61.8 see it's on 38.2 and reversing so uh, Infosys TCS all reversing from 38.2 Wipro Tech Mahindra has formed up to here so the up move left in this counters are pretty big when compared to these two counters so these are two important stocks which have to be kept in radar for the month of November or you can take it as even Diwali to Diwali stock these two stocks would be reviewed and the stock gives a minimum 50% of returns on the investment so keep taking it and you have to also follow your strictly stop loss for these kind of an entry stop loss is this because it's below 38.2 but our counter wipro and take minder the stop loss is i see wipro is i mean this is what we have to keep in 371 as the one which have to keep it in radar when come to take minder wipro is much more attractive because it is just uh, halted and it is looking forward for a reversal these are two counters which you have to keep it in radar for long-term investors of course i'll be uh, doing some more fundamentally strong stocks will be sharing in upcoming days so for that all you have to do is and of course on top of it i'll be keep sharing these uh, on a valuable analysis with the charts and the wide explanations in a telegram channel stock Phoenix. the link is in the description box below in fact i shared about uh, uh webpro yesterday with a with a complete analysis and i would be sharing uh Take mind that today with a similar kind of analysis. So it's all for long-term investments with time frame of between uh, six months to 18 months, and uh, it's a peaceful returns of uh, 25 to 50 percent. Is what do you need more than that in stock market, right? So follow us. Uh, keep your uh, please press the bell icon and uh, start subscribing to our YouTube channel. And we're gonna learn a lot in future days. Thank you. Have a lovely uh, day ahead, guys. Bye bye.